Well, now time for a check of the forecast, and it's been active over the last several days. A lot of lake effect snow, really cold air, some strong winds, excessive wind chill. That all starts to come to an end here in the second half of the weekend as fresh snow remains on the ground, but that is going to change in the next couple of days. Thankfully, roadways in Grand Rapids have improved as well. Well, the winter now taking hold after we had some delays from how cold our winter stretch had been. But again, things starting to improve even on the lake effect snow front as well. You can see even from Muskegon all the way down to County Kalamazoo still seeing some light to moderate snow, but not nearly the intensity that it was earlier today, where some areas racked up some significant snow since last night. Hamilton, 15 inches of snow. Fenville, a few miles south and west of that, 14 inches. South of Lake Makatawa got 12 inches of snow, but notice North Makatawa getting 10 inches of snow as well. A Saga Tuck report came in at 5 inches, but that was earlier in the day. They have since added a little bit more. Now we go to future track, and the snow winds down through tonight and early tomorrow morning. Notice clouds start to break up. Lake effect moisture really gets cut off here as southwest winds return and our air temperature, at least in the upper level, starts to warm. It eliminates any lake enhancement. So we will catch a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. A nice uh, end to the weekend here after what has been a very gloomy stretch over the last 10 days or so. Uh, Monday, we do track some light snow to begin, but we do expect some mixed precipitation to move in on the back side of that Friday night, or rather Monday night, into Tuesday morning. All right, temperatures for Sunday outside of some early morning lake effect. We'll see some sunshine, a high of about 23 in Grand Rapids. Notice some teens down near I-94. That's south winds, going to keep those temperatures on the cooler side here, uh, with feels like temperatures even colder. Temperatures right now with the variable clouds. Notice that blue contour in there with the snow in the mid-20s. 21 Grand Rapids, 19 Ionia, 18 Greenville. Still a lot of cold air off to the west. Moline, 11 below zero still. But that is the last push of cold air that we are going to see as it continues to move out of our region. The warm air starts to move in. That cold jet stream goes back to the north. We're going to catch more of that La Nina pattern again, and temperatures getting well above freezing. So precipitation chances on Monday and Tuesday, kind of a mix. Start as snow over to rain by Tuesday afternoon and stays as rain here into the next several days. So again, watching for a lot of melting here as we're not only going to see some rain, but a lot of it, again, because of the snow that we have, could lead to some fast melting and some flooding concerns. By Wednesday, that first system is gone, but it could be a rain-snow mix to start. Tricky commute Tuesday morning, and then more rain is expected here as we get into Thursday and into Friday as well. 23 degrees on Sunday with some sunshine. That rain-snow mix starts to develop and move in. Tuesday, we have a high of 36 and then potentially 40 both Wednesday and Thursday. But I think Wednesday morning's rain uh, will dry us up through the afternoon and then another th system Thursday into Friday. Nonetheless, a mild stretch ahead.